In this video, we are going to talk about what is a unit circle. What exactly is the unit circle? The unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1. In the given figure, if we have a circle in Cartesian coordinate plane, and if we have a right triangle, the hypotenuse of the right triangle will be equal to 1. And if we have a given angle theta, the points or the coordinate occurs with x and y coordinate. Always remember that cosine theta is equal to x coordinate. Sine theta is equal to y coordinate. And if you want to find the value of the angles in the unit circle, we need to familiarize ourselves with the reference angle. In quadrant 1, it exists between 0 to 90 degrees. The reference angle is equal to the given measure of angle 1. In quadrant 2, it exists between 90 and 180 degrees. The reference angle is equal to 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. In quadrant 3, it's between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. The reference angle is the given angle in quadrant 3 minus 180 degrees. And in quadrant 4, it's between 270 and 360 degrees. The reference angle is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. So these are the information that we're going to use to find the coordinates of each angle in a unit circle. So let's start and let's have an example. In this example, we are going to identify the coordinates of each angle in the unit circle. So let's start with quadrant 1. Quadrant 1 exists between 0 degree and 90 degrees. And the sign in quadrant 1 is positive and positive. Positive values for x and y. That means cosine theta is positive. And sine theta is also positive because cosine is x and sine is y. Let us start with 30 degrees. 30 degrees is located in quadrant 1. And the reference angle in quadrant 1 is equal to the given measure in quadrant 1. Therefore, cosine 30 in quadrant 1, that is square root of 3 over 2. And sine 30 in quadrant 1 is 1 half. Therefore, this will be the coordinates of 30 degrees. What about 45 degrees? So it is located in quadrant 1. Therefore, let us identify the coordinates. Cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And sine 45 is also square root of 2 over 2. And this will be the coordinates of 45 degrees in quadrant 1. What about 60 degrees? 60 degrees in quadrant 1, the reference angle is also 60 degrees. What is cosine 60 degrees? Cosine 60 degrees, that is 1 half. And sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. So this will be the coordinates of 60 degrees in quadrant 1. How about 0 degree? What is cosine 0? Cosine 0 is 1. And sine 0 is 0. So th therefore, the coordinates of 0 degree is 1 and 0. How about 90? What is cosine 90? Cosine 90 is 0. And sine 90 is 1. Therefore, the coordinates of 90 degrees is 0 and 1. So these are the coordinates in quadrant 1 with the angles 30, 45, 60, 0, and 90 degrees. Let us talk about now quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 exists between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. And the sign in quadrant 2 is negative and positive. That means for every values of cosine that is negative, 
and for every value of sine that is positive. And the reference angle in quadrant 2 is equal to 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. So let's start with 120 degrees. 120 degrees is located in quadrant 2. So to find the coordinates of 120 degrees, let us determine the reference angle. The reference angle of 120 is 180 degrees minus 120. That is 60 degrees. Now, let us determine the coordinates. What is cosine 60 in quadrant 2? Cosine 60 in quadrant 2, that is negative 1 half. And sine 60 in quadrant 2 is square root of 3 over 2. So this will be the coordinates of 120 degrees. How about 135 degrees? The reference angle is 180 minus 135 degrees. 180 minus 135 degrees is 45 degrees. Now, the coordinates are cosine 45 in quadrant 2 is negative square root of 2 over 2. And sine 45 in quadrant 2 is square root of 2 over 2, but the sine is positive. So this will be the coordinates of 135 degrees. How about 150 degrees? The reference angle is 180 minus 150. That's 30. Therefore, the coordinates of 150 degrees is cosine 30 in quadrant 2. That is negative square root of 3 over 2. And sine 30 degrees in quadrant 2, that's 1 half. So this will be the coordinates of 150 degrees. How about 180? What are the coordinates of 180 degrees? To find the coordinates of 180 degrees, let us determine the reference angle. The reference angle is 180 degrees minus the given measure, which is 180. That means the reference angle of 180 is 0 degree. Now, to find the coordinates, what is cosine 0? Cosine 0 in quadrant 2 is negative 1. And sine 0 in quadrant 2 is 0. Therefore, this will be the coordinates of 180 degrees. Now, let us talk about the measures of angles in quadrant 3. Quadrant 3 exists between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. And the sine in quadrant 3 is negative and negative. That means the value of sine cosine in quadrant 3 is both negative. The reference angle in quadrant 3 is the given measure of angle in quadrant 3 minus 180 degrees. So let's start with 210 degrees. 210 degrees is located in quadrant 3. To find the coordinates of 210 degrees, let us determine first the reference angle. The reference angle is equal to 210 degrees minus 180 degrees. 210 minus 180, that is 30 degrees. Therefore, the coordinates of 210 degrees is cosine 30 in quadrant 3, that is negative square root of 3 over 2, and sine 30 in quadrant 3 is negative 1 half. So this will be the coordinates of 210 degrees in quadrant 3. What about 225 degrees? The reference angle is 225 degrees minus 180 degrees, and that's 45 degrees. Therefore, the coordinates of 225 degrees is cosine 45, that is negative square root of 2 over 2, and sine 45 is also negative square root of 2 over 2. So this will be the coordinates of 225 degrees. How about 240 degrees? The reference angle of 240 degrees is 240 degrees 
minus 180 degrees, and that's 60 degrees. Now, what is cosine 60 in quadrant 3? That is negative 1 half. And sine 60 in quadrant 3, that is negative square root of 3 over 2. So this will be the answer. What about 270? What are the coordinates of 270 degrees? So to find the coordinates of 270 degrees, let us determine the reference angle. Reference angle is 270 degrees minus 180 degrees, and that is that is 90 degrees. What is cosine 90 degrees? Cosine 90 degrees in quadrant 3, that is 0. And sine 90 degrees in quadrant 3, that is negative 1. So this will be the coordinates of 270 degrees. Now, let us talk about quadrant 4. Quadrant 4 exists between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. And the sign in quadrant 4, that is positive and negative. Positive value for cosine and negative value for sine. And the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4. Now, let us talk about 300 degrees. What are the coordinates of 300 degrees? To find the coordinates of 300 degrees, let us determine the reference angle. The reference angle is 360 degrees minus the given measure of angle in quadrant 4, that is 300. That is 360 minus 300, that is 60 degrees. Therefore, cosine 60 in quadrant 4, that is 1 half. And sine 60 degrees in quadrant 4, that is negative square root of 3 over 2. So this will be the coordinates of 300 degrees. How about 315? The reference angle is 360 minus 315. That is 45 degrees. And cosine 45 in quadrant 4 is square root of 2 over 2. And sine 45 in quadrant 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. So this will be the coordinates. What about 330 degrees? The reference angle is 360 minus 330 degrees, and that is 30 degrees. And cosine 30 in quadrant 4, that is square root of 3 over 2. And sine 30 degrees in quadrant 4 is negative 1 half. So this will be the coordinates of 330 degrees. How about 360 degrees? What are the coordinates of 330 degrees? So the reference angle is 360 minus to itself, and that is 0. Cosine 0, that is 1. And then sine 0 is 0. So this will be the coordinates of 360 degrees. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.